I was like, babe, I need this. And she was like, oh my gosh, yep. okay, we're going to, we're going to get another one, I guess. And I was like, uh-huh. I was like, yeah. And like, I was like, I don't know how the auction works. I've never used Morph Market before. I just saw that you were on it. And so I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know how we have to do this, but we're going to win it. <laughs> Well, welcome back to Gecko Cove. Uh, so everybody knows my name is Bobby. Welcome, Liz, the very first winner of my very first auction. Yes, hello, hello. <laughs> Liz, congratulations. You won the Blotch Baby. So can I you did. tell me what kind of drew you to uh, placing a bid uh, on the Blotch? So um, I have been following you on social media for like a month now because our mutual friend David actually told me about you. Um, oh, awesome. And I, yeah, I found him in a like Facebook random group, and uh, we became chatting. And um, so I was just following you, and I saw pictures sometime last week, and I was like, oh my god, this one is beautiful. And <laughs> my wife knows that I always like pick animals out, like I manifest them before I have them. And I was telling her, I, I just got a gargoyle gecko for my birthday from my wife. And then I was like, oh, happy I, birthday. I need, like, thank you. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I need a yellow orange one. Like, I was like, I want like a spotted blotchy one. And I was like, the perfect one is coming. I can feel it. And she's like, do we really need to get you another one? You just got one. And I was like, oh, they're like potato <laughs> chips. You can't just have one. That's how I am with animals, though. And she knows it. Like, we have two yep. of everything. Um, we had two cats, two hedgehogs. Um, we got our gargoyle gecko, and then I got her a bearded dragon for our one-year anniversary. And then oh, I was nice. like, I need, I need more gargoyle geckos now because I'm obsessed. <laughs> like I love them so much. And uh, and I saw him on your page, and I was like, that's it. I need, I need that one. And she was like, maybe we can wait and get you one like in a month or two. And I was like. I want this one. No. Um, and then I saw, and <laughs> I then love I saw it. it was on auction, and I was like, I was like, babe, I need this. And she was like, oh, my gosh, yep. okay, we're going we're gonna to get another one, I guess. And I was like, uh-huh. I was like, yeah. And like, I was like, I don't know how the auction works. I've never used Morph Market before. I just saw that you were on it. And so I was like, oh, my gosh, I don't know how we have to do this, but we're going to win it. And she's like, all right, well, if we're going to win this, then just make me an account, too. We'll both bid because I'm sure it's going to be crazy. I was like, yeah, because only awesome. one person has a bid. I was like, but we know how people on eBay and other auction things are. It's like the last minute is when people. That's really the action start time. And you were like, I don't think anybody's going to bid, but that's okay. No. And I was like, he don't know. He don't know how people are with <laughs> auctions, I guess. We were all sitting here waiting. We're watching me and my wife. She's right here. We were in bed right here. Hey, how you doing? You're live on. Uh, on YouTube, and we're like, yeah, we're like, all right, it's getting close to go time, and everybody's like, oh no, you priced it good. If you just get two hundred for, I was like, it's gonna go for mm -hmm. more than that. Like, <laughs> I was like, you don't even know. I was like, I, I had no fun. idea. I was, I mean, you probably saw. I was just as happy as you were you're to, like, to, to I'm just you know, and showing yeah. off geckos and having fun talking to everybody. And I was like, oh my gosh, I love Bobby. We get good vibes from him. Like. We need to help him. I said, even if we don't win it, like oh, we need to get you. up the price more because, like, yeah. I was like, I was like, this is a beautiful animal. Bobby deserves it. Like, all of his content is so great. We literally will sit oh, and binge watch you. all of your videos at night because <laughs> um, you know we're still new to gargoyle geckos, so we're like, we got to learn everything about them. I become obsessed with my animals, I, as everybody yeah. should. You know, you, you um, go down those rabbit holes. Oh yeah, you get like hyper focused on like certain things like lighting and food and this and that and then you like are upgrading and my wife's like again we're doing this again we're upgrading again i'm like always babe always yeah. you know they grow they're like what's they life grow. about if we're not always evolving into the better versions of ourselves every day right exactly so, I'm so like, same thing with enclosures <laughs> right and we put them in our living room and i make it like I like build them out and make them all pretty, like the bioactive vivariums. I was like, they're part of our home, I love and it. like people love to come in and be like, "Oh my gosh, what is that? What is in there?" I'm like, "Let me show you. Don't touch it. Excellent. Let me show you." <laughs> well, maybe with the gargoyles, they can, right? Because they're so so easily uh, handleable. Um, and yeah. I've been just so you know, I'll send you a bunch of pictures. Uh, I have pictures from the moment this gecko hatched 
all Aww. the way until today. So what I do for a lot of my uh, gecko families is I'll put together like a Google uh, folder and you guys will get all the photos that I've ever wanted when I buy geckos. So oh I want to treat you so like, sweet. like, you know, I want to be treated. So yeah, no, just, I think it's fine. Cause baby pictures who, who don't, who doesn't want baby pictures, right? Yeah, exactly. Like I don't have was... much information about my first one because I got her from a reptile shop here. That's local to Orlando and yeah. they are really good about taking care of their animals, but they were like, we don't know an exact hatch date. We got her from like a breeder friend of ours that breeds them, but we don't really keep track of that. And so I'm like, yep. okay, I know she's like a juvenile, but I don't know exactly. I don't even know if it's a girl. She could be a boy for all I know, but I keep calling her a girl. But I'm like, <laughs> okay. And I'm like, is it a boy or a girl? And they're like, I don't know. We didn't, we didn't. Yeah, too too we, young. So we'll have to I'm sex like, it for okay, you cool. one of these days. Right. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, well, the same as Jupiter. So either way, it's good. It works. Well, you, you definitely yeah. have at least one boy because this, this one is definitely showing a bunch of pores. Um, it, but, it, you know, those things, it usually changes in one direction, not the other with geckos. You know, I, it can look female for a really long time and then all of a sudden they just pop out. So um, yeah. um, they just come. That's all right. But, no, this one's definitely a boy. And uh, I'm excited that you guys won. You guys seem like like an amazing family for this gecko. And uh, it sounds like you do bioactive, so that's fantastic. Uh, mm -hmm. We're going to spoil the, the junk out of this thing, right? Oh, my gosh, yes. I'm going to do all kinds of videos. And, like, I have so many videos that I need to, like, edit of, like, going through it. And our bearded dragon's about to get, like, a big upgrade because it's still, it's still pretty tiny, too. But I'm, like, oh, nice. I have so much fun filming them. And then when it comes to editing them, I'm, like, babe, I need you to edit it because, like, I yeah. don't have the patience for that. That's like the I hard have, part, right? I have, and I usually do, but I'm like, you like this more than I do, so you edit it. Thanks. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. You know, that's the beautiful thing about relationships is if you can go and divvy up the tasks into what mm -hmm. each other is really good at, you know, that, mm -hmm. that's that's the, uh, the sign of a great relationship. So yeah, that's awesome. Like an actual partnership. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's kind of the point, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think we've all had those relationships where it's not like that at all. And you're like exhausted from them. But yeah, no, we have a really good relationship and partnership and we do everything 50 50 that's or, awesome know. yeah yeah no uh, you know I, i'm jealous i wish my wife would be bidding on geckos for me but she she's definitely not going to do that <laughs> um i honestly but, uh, didn't think she would i did not think she would seeing yeah. as how it's been like less than a month since i got my first one and then we got a bearded dragon like a week later and now we're getting yeah. this one i was like his name is citrine i've already named him he's beautiful oh, i love it and uh, she was like oh, because we used to have a crystal business, and citrine is a so, crystal. It's a yellow crystal. Okay. Um, it's my favorite. It's also an abundance and, like, manifesting crystal. And I was like, well, down the line, I would you like to, you know. kind of manifested this. I did. And I was like, I want to, you know, when I'm comfortable enough and when I have, like, a breeding mentor, I would like to breed them down the line. So I was like, yeah. it's all, I was like, babe, it's all happening. It's like, all coming it's, together. Yeah. Like, I love it. Him. And, and you, like, you know, obviously... I'd love to, to mentor you a little bit with the breeding. You know, I'm just getting into it myself, yeah. obviously. Um, but but you've got a lifelong, you know, resource if you ever have any questions. So speaking of that real quick, um, yes. you have not received the gecko yet. I still have him back here. Uh, mm -hmm. We are planning on shipping in a few days, which we'll, we'll revisit this and have you back on one more time once uh, you, you have Citrine. Is that the name? Yes. Mm -hmm. When you have Citrine, I love it. Um, and uh, you'll, you'll let me know if you're as in love with him in person or if you think he looks better. So I always want you to even be more in love once you're in, uh, in person. So, um, yes. But yeah, so we will talk about shipping, and that'll be a lot of fun. Have you mm -hmm. had any gecko shipped or any animal shipped to you before? Nope. It's my so this will be an experience. Yeah, I'll mm -hmm. walk you through it. It'll yeah. be really easy. Uh, luckily, the weather's been really nice this this uh, spring. Last year, mm -hmm. when I ordered a bunch of geckos and I, I was waiting for them to be shipped, I'd wait months for the weather to oh, like have no. a clear date. So uh, we've been knock on wood, pretty lucky. Hopefully, we don't get a yeah. snowstorm here in Chicago tomorrow. It could happen. Oh my gosh, I forgot. You're up north. I'm like, oh yeah, oh, it's yeah. pretty nice all year round. Uh, but yeah, no. It's been no, so hot no. here. It's been like in the 80s and 90s lately. I'm like, 
Okay, I kind of miss the winter weather, which is only like 60s and 70s here. But like, well, and that I need to to look into as well because you know, uh, yeah, you don't want it cold to weather is hot. one thing, but it's it's easier to bake them than it is to yeah. to chill them. So we don't want to do either of that those things. But I'll walk you through that process, and then we'll reconvene and pick up this video when you have citrine. Uh, but yeah. I'm so excited for you too. You guys seem like the best family that they could have won citrine, and I uh, thank you so much for for supporting me, supporting the channel. And, uh, you know, just supporting my new budding business. So it really does mean a lot to me to have fans like you and just to have customers like you. And I want to treat you like family. So thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to cut away real quick. And then okay. through the magic of editing, it'll be a few <laughs> days later. And mm -hmm. uh, we'll say hi one, once more. Sound like a plan? Sounds good. All right. See you in a second. All right, and through the magic of time, we are back. And do you have the oh. gecko now? I do. He's in here. Oh. I'll get him out. The yeah, baby made he's... it nice and safe. He did. So... He did. Come here, baby. Liz, have we named the yeah. gecko yet? Okay, so we went through many, uh, many uh, names for him. Here he is. Oh. Hi, sweet thing. He is nice and settled in now. So he's just now like we're able to like get him out and handle him. So uh, awesome. first it was going to be Citrine, and then I think we were going to do Maverick, but we've decided on Rigby now. So that's Rigby, final, I like it. Final name. Um, and we Very fits cool. Him, so. Yay, super. Is there a story behind the name Rigby? Um, we're both huge Beatles fans um, in the song Eleanor Rigby, and so when we get him a girlfriend, her name's going to be Eleanor. Love it. Yeah. That's a great, great story. I like that. So, yeah. yeah, he's looking nice and healthy. Look at that. Yep. So, I'm so just, is I he pretty chill? Bin. He is chill. So, I put him in this little bin just so I can monitor him for, you know, a little bit. And then I also made yeah. him an upgraded little enclosure, too. Hi. Um, and now, was he the first so, gecko you've ever had shipped to you? He was. He was. And okay. that was, um, so I was. I have a story about that, actually. So I, sure. you know, we went through the process. You were really helpful for that because I had no idea. I'm like, you can ship animals? Like, I knew you could, but um, it was <laughs> right. super simple. So I'm walking out with the box, and it says live animal on the side, obviously. And this guy is driving this white van, and he's pulling in, and he goes, hey. And I was like, he hello. <laughs> he's like, is yeah. that a live animal in there? I said, Ye yes, it is. It says live animal, sir. Yes. He's like, what is You can read. Mind? Congratulations. Right. And I'm like, do you, he's like, do you mind if I ask you what it is? And I was like, oh yeah, it's a gecko. He's like, oh my gosh, hold on. And he jumps out of his car, like full on. And I'm like, oh, okay. And so he starts telling me, oh, I have geckos. Can I see your gecko? Like what, wh where'd you get him from? And so I'm like showing him pictures of him and everything. And he's showing me his pictures. He's like, where'd you get it? I was like, Oh, my friend Bobby, he's Gecko Cove. Yeah. He's like, oh, my God, I know him. I follow him on YouTube. And I'm like, oh, that's what awesome. What freaking world. I was like, that's crazy. He's like, oh, my God, I'm going to go follow you on Instagram now. I was like, reptile people are so cool. Like, we all just, you know. Oh, that, that makes my day. That is awesome. I know. I was like, that's so weird. But, yeah. So then I got to show sure. him off. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. I was like, dang, Isn't that that's the a best? small world. Yeah. Especially when you first get it, you know, obviously you don't want to take them out, out of the enclosure, but, you know, while they're in the deli cup and everything, you can kind of mm -hmm. show them off, which is great. Yeah, um, I was like, you and can it, you made an instant it. friend. I know. I was like, this is so fun. So fun. Bringing people together we, with geckos. Yeah, we started talking about uh, there's another reptile show in about a month from now. And I was like, I think we're going to go to that. He's like, me too. We can hang out. I was like, cool. Love Very that. Very awesome. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. Blossoming friendship. I love that. And so, mm -hmm. speaking of reptile shows, now you got this gecko. Uh, I heard uh, through it's the grapevines that you might have, you, yeah, that mm -hmm. we, we we might have a few more geckos in the house now that you went to a reptile show. We have six. That have is awesome. Six. That's fast. <laughs> so yeah, well, when we do stuff, we we do stuff. Um, she's back here laughing because she knows exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> but um, we totally just. <laughs> We fell in love with them, and then we were like, we're just going to go look at the reptile show. We're not going to buy anything. It's fine. 
Yep. And then we got there, and then she is a very good negotiator, so she got us really good deals. I think we spent like three something, oh, four, four what? Four thirty on three okay. babies. Oh so, yeah. Um, yeah, so two of them are sisters. They came from the same people. And then we found one that we just fell in love with because she doesn't have any toes. Oh, <laughs> <Because> no. <laughs> Shed her, issues? Yeah, the first owners, they just didn't know what they were doing. And so they gave yeah. her back to the breeder. And then she's about his size, um, but she has no toes. And we were like, oh, oh no. my gosh, what happened? She was like, you know, stuff shed. Well, they're like, yeah, they're like nubs on some of them, but mostly she has like none. But um, we just fell in oh, love with poor, her. And we were like, poor girl. we have to bring her home too because we don't want someone taking her, not knowing what they're doing with her, and then it continuing yeah. to happen. Which she just had her first shed last night, and then I'm like, oh my gosh, I was like watching her, and I'm like, is she okay? Is she doing good? But she's she's good now. No issues. Awesome. I made sure her temps were all good, so. So those yeah. are sometimes, you know, it's great that you rescued, you know, a gecko like that. Um, yeah. And you obviously know what you're doing because you got me in case you have any questions, right? Yes, um, absolutely. And so, I know. You've been awesome about that. I just, I'm like, hey, what do I do? Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, I want yeah. everybody, you know, they're, they're my babies too. And so I always yeah. love progress picks. And if you have any questions about just general care, uh, I, I spent a lot of time learning myself how to take care of my geckos. And I want to make sure that as a breeder that I'm setting you guys up to be successful. So I love yeah. questions. I'd rather have more questions than, than not. Um, but I've got to ask with this new gecko, what awesome yeah. name did you give that one? Or are we still debating? So that one, I originally named her Artemis, but then Tony was like, um, it has no toes. We need to do something about that. Because the breeder <laughs> named it Nubs, and I was like, okay, what about Littlefoot? Ah, yes. Like, That's it. It's Littlefoot. And I was like, what if she's self-conscious about it, though? And so we just kind of call her Little, even though she's nice. not very little. But, yeah, so. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Littlefoot. Oh. Say hello. Hi. Yeah, he oh, is man. like and and here's the so other crazy cool. thing. I thought you guys got the last baby from Kilauea before uh, he moved on to a different breeder. Um, mm -hmm. But my girl uh, Hawaii had two eggs, and Did I she? thought it might be the new male. Yeah, so they just hatched mm -hmm. a little bit ago, and these are definitely full siblings. So I, if anybody Yay. is super interested in getting the last Kilauea babies, uh, we got two more. They are, they're not blotches, they're both stripes, but um, yeah, I'm like, they just look just like their siblings. They're so beautiful. it's crazy how you can tell who the dad is right away. <laughs> yeah, we don't need no so. more. <laughs> um, no, I, I no, know, I, <laughs> we, no blood tests for that one. No. Um, I know, I, saw, I mean, his pictures were beautiful, but then I got him in person. I was like, Bobby, he's so gorgeous in person. Like the camera does not do them justice. His like banding not is beautiful. All. Oh my God, he's! I'm so excited for him to become an adult and see like what colors grows in from him. I can't wait to see too because you know what's going to be fun is especially with mom and dad both having more of a an orangish yellow kind of color to them. Um, yeah. I don't think it's going to turn red. I think it'll be a really unique gecko overall. So I think you know I can't. You're you're going to stay in touch. It's not even an option. You have to stay oh, in yes, touch yeah, and, and let obviously. me know. Obviously. <laughs> oh, I definitely will. I know. There really aren't that many like yellow geckos, and that's why mm -hmm. I love them. I like that's what made me fall in love with gargoyles. I saw like a picture of like this really pretty like black and yellow one, and I was like, I need it. And then I was like searching, yeah. searching, searching. I'm like. I can't find any. And then I saw him. And I was like, <laughs> I need him. I need him. Yeah. Right? And, and he, he's a perfect match. So is there anything that, you know, going back to the shipping experience real quick, um, mm -hmm. I know it went really easy. Obviously, we've talked the entire way. You got your tracking. Uh, for mm -hmm. anybody out there who has never shipped before, what advice would you give them as far as receiving it? Um, was there anything that you, you appreciated that I did or that, you know, you were nervous about that, you know, maybe you would give someone a little advice to calm their nerves? Um, I was really nervous, obviously, because I'd never done it before. I'd never picked up a live animal. I was like, how does this even work? But, um, you know, you were really... You were really nice and helpful, and, you know, it kind of explained the whole process, which was 
Nice. Um, and then I just oh, thank you. mainly I just kept updating my tracking like every five minutes. Yep. I'm like, <laughs> when is it coming? When is it coming? And then I noticed that um, my shipping center doesn't open till 9 a.m. So I was like, OK, so it's probably going to be between because it said um, that it would be there by 1030. So I was like, all right, so it'll be between yep. like 9 and 1030. That'll get it. And then I just kept updating it. And then it hit like eight something. And it said, oh, your your package has gotten to the facility. So I was like, I'm just going to go sit. So then there was like a line of us just sitting, waiting to get <laughs> our animals um, once they opened. I love it. And I was, like, I was like, oh, okay, this is what everyone's doing here. Cool. But yeah, it was a different like um, facility, obviously, because it's through FedEx. So it was a different um, yep. facility that I had to go to. It wasn't very terribly far, but. Um, you sent me the link to be able to figure out which one to send it because I was like, I have no, no idea. Yeah, it's got to be a specific uh, hub. <laughs> like the. So um, not all of them take animals. Right. So, but that was really simple too. You know, you just sent me the link, and yeah. I was able to figure that out. And then, and then by the next day, he was here. Yeah, it's overnight. It's crazy how fast it happens, and I. Uh, you know, and the nice thing is, is that, you know, the first time you go to the hub, you're like, oh, this is new. And you're all mm -hmm. like, where is it? And Google mapping it. And then like Christmas after you buy your... <laughs> Oh, it is. It's absolutely like Christmas. And you just want to rip it open. You know, you're, you're trying to be patient. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, so it's kind of nice where uh, you get used to going to that hub. And then, you know, you buy too many geckos when they know you by, you know, your first name. And they're like, oh, what did you get this time? <laughs> I know. I'm like, so, oh, that's going to be me soon, I swear. I, that's awesome. I'll, I'll help fuel the uh, the new addiction. I love it. So, Oh, yeah. Well, I sure. really appreciate your time coming on, yeah. and thank you so much for you know purchasing my little baby here. I hope he brings you yeah. as much joy as he's brought me in his first few months of life. And, yeah, uh, yeah. thank you so much for coming on the show. Well, thank you for having me. Thank you for making such a cute little baby and making the process so easy. Hopefully you'll do another auction because I think it went pretty well for you and for me. Yep. Um, that was a cool experience too, being able to be like, am I going to get it? And now I have it. Yeah, so. they, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> I might uh, might do one more this, this year before my new – I don't have much more to sell, to be honest with you. So uh, it'll be next year once I start producing more. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was definitely exhilarating. Like you said, you know, a little bit earlier in this video, last time we talked, um, I had no idea that it was going to go over, you know, just the $200. And you're like, oh, yeah, I knew. And I was yeah. like, so it was a great experience yeah. for me. Sounded like a great experience for you. And we both win. So thank you too. so much. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Exactly. So right, well, thanks. you have a wonderful rest of your day. And right, uh, I'll be doing actually – uh, are you going to join me for my live drawing of the, the gecko giveaway I'm doing? Yeah. So you guys were entered? Are. Yeah, we are. Awesome. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. All right. Cross my fingers. Yes. All right. Well, you have a wonderful rest of your day. All right. You too. Bye. Bye. Hey, if you've enjoyed this video and want to encourage me to make more Gargoyle Gecko content, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button, share this with a friend, and maybe uh, check out one of the videos right over there. I'll see you next time on Gecko Cove.